And thanks, Tony, and hello. Uh, my hope is that this finds you and your families safe and healthy. The pandemic has impacted us all, some obviously way more than others. And yet, despite the chaos and despite the stress and uncertainty on when all this would end, there have been some positives. Some, as the common expression goes, silver linings. For many of us, the pace of our lives has slowed. We've reconnected with old friends to see how they're doing. Many have used this downtime to tackle projects around the house, do puzzles, play games, Zoom calls, Zoom birthday parties, read books, a variety of different activities. Many families have seen their adult children move back home temporarily and work remote. And while these things may seem small and insignificant today, I think they are what we are going to be talking about and remembering many years from now. The crisis has made us much more aware of just how fortunate we are to have Virginia Hospital Center right here in our own backyard, especially given the news coverage that detailed the horrific conditions that existed at many hospitals around the country. In the early days of the pandemic, friends would ask, how is Virginia Hospital Center doing? And I would tell them some of what you've just heard. That Jim Cole and his team of senior leaders, doctors and nurses came together quickly and developed a rapid response plan. That in a matter of days, a remote testing facility was built and opened to take the pressure off of the emergency room. That the hospital had an adequate supply of personal protection equipment and that the hospital had access to best practices through its unique relationship with the Mayo Clinic. That morale was very high despite the long hours and risks to one's personal health. And that the hospital had been hit hard financially due to the ban on electable surgeries and the added expenses of fighting the virus. And I think most importantly that the entire community had come together to show their support by donating thousands of meals, sending letters, posting signs, and making very generous financial contributions. I explained that more than 350 people had made their very first gift to Virginia Hospital Center as a part of the COVID-19 appeal, and that this effort helped raise more than $700,000. And I also mentioned how proud I was. My affiliation with this hospital goes back 34 years. All three of our children were born here. And I told them that I had never been more prouder. Now we know that a great hospital doesn't just happen. It takes a strong leadership team that embraces a culture of quality and that is patient-centered and that understands that success is never final, that there is always a better way. It takes best-in-class doctors and nurses who have access to state-of-the-art medical equipment and technology. This is Virginia Hospital Center. And as important, it takes an engaged and con connected community, one that values excellence in healthcare and how through philanthropic support they are investing in the future. This too is Arlington County and the surrounding area. Jim Cole mentioned earlier that it's all about community coming together to help make a difference. Your generous giving helps Virginia Hospital Center remain an independent nonprofit community hospital. It helps with the design and construction of the new outpatient pavilion. It helps fund the outpatient clinic and the pediatric center that provide care for the community's most vulnerable. And it also is absolutely critical in our ability to attract and retain best-in-class doctors and nurses who have access to state-of-the-art medical equipment and technology. We all have an opportunity to invest in the future and create a lasting difference. And so I invite you to join me in making the hospital one of your top three charities this year. It is absolutely so critical and vital to the sustainability of Virginia Hospital Center. And so stay healthy and stay safe and thank you.